So I call my dude up and he's like, bro, you got to let go. You got to let go in full. And I wind up getting in my car and I drive up to Utah and I'm in Utah for three months. And while I'm in Utah, it allows me, it gives me, they take my cell phone from me. And if they didn't take my cell phone from me, I was never going to be able to deal with what I needed to deal with. I had never known how to pray because I could never cultivate silence. I had no absence in my life. Every unforgiving minute was full of some fucking scroll or some more like ego feed, mm -hmm. constant, nonstop rotation of this, this ego thing and that ego thing and ba 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 ba, just constant fulfillment of like my own personal desires. And they took my phone from me. And just for that reason alone, I would, I would urge anybody to go this route if you're in a situation like mine, just to get the fucking phone out of your pocket. Mm -hmm. And what that gave me was time to like really assess what had been my operating systems. What had been like the motivational force in my life, which was always me. It was always ego. It was even always the smallest decision. The smallest decision to even go into everything. food. Everything, everything you eat. Everything, everything, everything yeah, was yeah, ego. Yeah. Everything was ego. I, I would eat that not because it tasted good, but because it would do this or do that, you know? Even in my own life, I see this. I see Shia in me because I, even in this change of mind about what, what happened, what's happening, something's actually happening when I pray. Something's actually happening when I fast. Something's actually happening when I go to church. Something's actually happening when I engage myself in these disciplines, when I read, when I, when I do do these things. I'm putting myself in the sun. I find it so difficult to make 10, to, to make five minutes at night to pray because I walk from the couch to the kitchen to get something from the fridge and i think oh it's good it's about you know 20 seconds that's like a couple instagram videos Ooh, let me let me scroll a couple of, and like sit there with the fridge open and my arm on it and then my roommate's like what are you looking for i'm like i don't remember anymore i don't know what i was doing or what have even worse have something that i want to watch on the tv and i think hmm this is getting a little boring let me pull out my phone watch the little screen Ooh, nice little images you know other than the thing I actually I actually wanted to focus on. Um, so like I can't even entertain myself long enough to not entertain myself with something else. And so and then I go to bed and I sleep in the bed with my phone next to me watching this YouTube video that's about something that I don't care about, won't remember in three days, but I just need the noise so I can fall asleep. No wonder I can't get in the sun. No wonder I can't read my Bible for five. No wonder I can't say the Jesus prayer 10 times. No wonder I can't do that because my life is full of some effing scroll all the time. All the time. I'm in the car and playing music. I'm listening to a podcast. I, I, I carry my, my Bluetooth headphones with me or earphones with me everywhere. So that when I go to the grocery store, when I could have some time where I'm meaningly doing a task, and like have some time so my brain can think or going to the gym, I have them in and I'm listening. So I don't have to interrupt the new human beings because I just want to think about the thing I was thinking about that I was listening to when I was in the car. I want no, 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 I want no liminal space between me not being a consumer of me not being entertained, of me not, and it's not all just entertainment. Like it's, it's fun stuff I find, it's fun stuff I find interesting, right? Regardless. It's all input. I can't have a moment that's not input. So yeah, I don't know silence. Yeah, I don't know I don't know abstinence from from any kind of stimulus. Yeah. It's impossible. And so I'm trying to be in the sun more. And that means that I get in the car and I pause the music and I Count on my fingers and I pray the Jesus prayer 10 times before I ever listen to anything. When I'm walking from the car to front door of work, I pray the Jesus prayer a couple of times. You know, it's just I'm trying to train, trying to train myself. I have to fill every second with something. Yeah. Yeah. So then hopefully that doesn't become just three minutes. Hopefully it becomes 10 minutes, 15 minutes. And so, again, because I actually think that being in the sun, being, putting myself in a position to encounter the grace of God will actually do something to me. Yeah. It